Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 in our survival game series. Previously we've been working on our resource management in ourselves, but now we're going to look at the world around us and create a nice looking environment for us to play around in. So today we're looking at the landscape tools and also the texturing tools to create a compelling landscape along with all the different assets we have available to us. So let's get started and paint our world. Okay, so last time we worked on our O2 meter, so when we're underwater, our O2 meter will show, it'll start depleting. And then when we're out of it, it will stop depleting. But what I want to do next is make it so when we're out of it, we refill our O2 meter. So let's go back to our player character. And when we clear and invalidate the timer, because we're outside, we want to take our oxygen value and set that back to 1. Okay, so let's see that. We go underwater. You see it tick to 0 0.9 or 90. Go forth, come back out, and it takes me to go away. Go back under, and it should restart back at 90 and then go down. Okay, so that is all working. So next we'll be working on the vegetation of our island so we can start collecting things for our island islander to uh, survive on. So let's decorate our island here to make it look a bit better for us to work with. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. I've brought in, by the way, the Infinity Blade Grasslands and the Infinity Blade, um, I think it's the Hideout one, I think it is. Uh, but both Infinity Blade assets, so they're free on the marketplace, so help yourself to them. Or if you want the project files, you can also download these project files from the Patreon too. So let's take a look at our landscape here. Now our landscape is pretty simple. We're going to keep it pretty simple. I'm not going to go too nuts with it. But what we do want to do is obviously paint it so it's not just this sort of hexagon sort of shape. So if I go into my Infinity Blade grasslands and let's take a look at the environments. And let's take a look what we've got around here. So we've got the earth uh materials uh not that one and just gotta look for nice materials that we can use um let's go to the planes and we've got terrain materials ah here we go so we'll use some of these now we can't just drag it onto the landscape well we can but what will happen is it'll look really Weird to have it all just one thing that's just tiling over and over and over and over again. So what we're going to do is going to add some variation to it by painting onto our landscape. So at the moment, this is a, a simple material. It's not doing much at all. That's literally all it is. Um, and we're going to combine this all together into a landscape material. So I'm going to create a new landscape material. And in there, we want to have land scape layer blend and here we're going to have multiple layers so we're going to have a grassy layer and also have a rock layer and what else do we have access to in here uh moments planes so we've got uh we've got rock for cliffs mossy cliff dirt road okay so let's do dirt I'm just adding one for each type that you want to have on there so dirt and let's go for terrain blend i think it might, might be something quite useful but um we'll go for another type of grass if we do grass two you can always add more to this later on as well so grass two okay so there are our layers here okay so then we have to define what textures these things will be using so let's create our uh, material attributes for our things here so this would be the grass from our grass here we're going to just uh, select this like so. In fact, let's just copy this over. Copy and paste that in here. 
and we're going to search for material attributes and do set material attributes and in here we're going to have uh, roughness normal and base color so just keep adding until we see the normal come up there we are and we can just add those two there okay if you want to get rid of the other ones you can do you just get rid of them by doing stuff like this okay and there is one there and that will go into the grass in fact this is grass 2 technically so we'll just put that into grass 2 so we want this output to be a material attribute itself so we'll change this down here to use material attributes and then we'll plug the end result of our landscape band into landscape layer material so we just got to define each of these different uh, materials here by creating material attributes for each one so that's grass 2 let's go to grass 1 and um, where are we going train materials grass 1 and you're literally just going to copy this Place this in here, and we have normal. That one would be roughness. That's grass one. Uh, cliff. Be that here. And put that into rock. And we're going to do the last one. At least for now. The dirt one. Copy. Go to the landscape material. And another you know, set attributes in there. I'll go in the normal in, the roughness, and the base color. Do dirt. Okay. So we're going to hit apply and save. Okay, so for this, uh, that is done. So we're gonna go back to our landscape here and apply our landscape layer uh, material here, landscape material uh, to this landscape. Now when you do, it's gonna come out completely black. That's because it has no data yet assigned to it. So we need to go into the mode section up here and we're gonna go to landscape. And we go to the paint tab up here on the top. Now on the paint tab here, you should now see the different materials that we have available to us grass rock dirt and grass too and you'll see the option for none underneath each one this is because this is where the save data file goes for each terrain type so i'm going to hit on the create layer info and do a, not a, a weight weighted layer and we choose somewhere to save it uh sure you can say wherever you want really and then we'll put this into each one So as we paint, it's going to write to that surface. Okay, so if I go, for example, into the rock side of things, okay. And let's paint our little rock face here. We'll click on the rock, change the size of this thing. So radius will bring down. And we can now paint on here our rock. And you can see it now appearing. Okay, increase the strength a bit. Now we're not looking at making it look perfect um because we're going to su support this with meshes as well so we'll work a basis now and then we'll support it with meshes in a minute and you can always fine tune the uh the shape of these things too okay and we'll do a bit of dirt in there too Again, it will create that new data file there for us. Decrease the strength a little bit. More grass in there. And just take your time going through it. Grass 2. Again, it's got to generate that layer first. OK. 
Okay, and as I said, we're going to supplement this with uh, meshes as well. So let's go into our mesh folder for our Infinity Blade Grasslands and look at the environments. We're going to look at the uh, planes. No, not planes. Where is it? This is a bit hard to navigate sometimes. Uh, meshes. So there's the foliage. We'll come back to that in a moment. Um, in fact, let's just take a look at the meshes. If I turn on the filter here to let it mesh, we can see what the various meshes we have available to us. Yeah, so this is the stuff I wanted. I wanted to get like rocks and things like that. Um, anything sort of natural I can use. So let's take a look what we've got here. We've got a load of ruins, which is cool, but I want rocks. So here's some rocks here. And I've got a large rock there. Brick, got some grassland stuff in here. That's quite useful. Um, small trees. Okay. So let's see some of these rocks we've got. So we've got a large rock cliff edge. Let's take a look at that. Drag that out. And there we go. So we're going to use this as part of our scene here. So we go to select mode and drag this up. And we're going to place this up here somewhere. As I said, the texture painting is literally supporting the environment, not the actual, it shouldn't be like your actual uh, final paint of the actual scene, but will support the meshes that you put into it like so. Okay. And we'll put some uh, more cliff edge stuff. And I overlay, place these things around various different uh, angles and uh, attachments like that. Okay, so next we're going to keep on going, add more stuff to this. So let's do this one. But actually, no, let's got a large rock cliff there. I use that somewhat. And that in there. Okay. And just a matter of placing that where you want it to be. Sell the idea of your scene. Okay. And so on and so forth. And you keep adding the rocks in, different placements, and start really messing about with them. Uh, next, we're going to add some foliage into here. So we're going to go to the modes and go to the foliage settings. And here we can plug some foliage in. There's two types of foliage settings now in Unreal. This is the older one, but it works just fine for very simple use, such as this. So let's just go to SM Planes Grass 1 and add that to here. Just drag it in. And you then just go in and place it. So we can go to Paint here, and it'll place our meshes. These are instants, so they are going to load up a lot quicker than a non-instance one is. But we can plug this in by simply just dragging our mouse over here. Okay. Now I'm going to increase the density of this, because that's quite small still. Okay. Mm, that'd be a bit too much. So shift click will get rid of stuff, it's erasing. And I'll turn the density down a little bit. And there you go. Okay, you just keep going around and doing that stuff to it. And we're going to do it with trees as well. So I'm going to turn this one off by ticking it off. And let's add trees to this. So we've got uh, a fern. There, you've got different plants there. We'll keep these for our resources later on. Uh, but let's look for a tree. We can use a cherry tree. There we go. Put into foliage type here. And with the cherry tree, the only one being selected, I'm going to change my setting up here to be a single placement. And this is really good because if I click somewhere, it will just pop a tree down and give me a random stuff on it. So here I can decide what the scale is between different things. So 
um, a uniform scaling is we're going to be one, two, uh, three, for example. So every time I click on get a chance to have different uh, spaces there, and we'll make it so that the rotation. I think the rotation should be on by default, but let's just test that out. Let's click places. It should spawn in. I don't know. I think they're all the same. Okay, so it must be in here somewhere. Uh, we'll just search for it. The placement. It would be here. Uh, random your. Okay. Oh, it is random. It's just unfortunate. Yeah, it is random. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just place our tree. So click, click, click. And click, 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 click. And just adding trees to your environment. Okay, and our world is starting to shape up. We've now got uh, some grass, some trees, nice bit of water. Okay, and we can really start seeing the world come come to full. So I'm going to keep on going doing this between this episode and the next episode, uh, so we can carry on from where we left off. So there you have it. I'm going to carry on and continue flushing out my world and make it look as pretty as I can in the time frame I can do so. Uh, but you carry on as well and designing your environment to your own specifications. In the next episode, we're going to start work on our resource skill system. So this is the ability for you to go up to resource nodes like stone and trees, for example, and mine them for resources. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley and you can catch all my videos early before anyone else. Big thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.